I would say the number of chemicals that are in the environment are of concern. Puget Sound. It sure looks calm and beautiful, but it's too often a dumping ground for hundreds of chemicals, according to these researchers. Chemicals making their way into wildlife, whether it's orcas or lower trophic level organisms. We detected a lot of chemicals in water and in fish. Fish tissue specifically, and we're responsible. Chemicals deemed high priority by researchers include antibiotics, antidepressants, and even makeup like lipstick and mascara. Some of the chemicals that are in makeup can act like estrogens. Chemicals that can act like estrogens can affect reproduction, for example. Wildlife like Chinook salmon. Southern resident orcas rely on Chinooks to supplement their diet. If your food isn't able to reproduce, then you have less food. So how do they enter the wastewater stream? Through pipes in your home or business. These are part of a stubborn category of chemicals called PFAS also referred to as forever chemicals. PFAS were conceived in the 1940s and their prevalence is due to their ability to repel oil and water and reduce friction among other characteristics that are, are really valuable for commercial products. We call them sticky compounds so they want to be in, in lipid or tissue. So those accumulate in, in tissue, the fish, and up the food chain to orcas. To combat this, scientists are urging the public not to pour old medications down the toilet and to limit their use of unnecessary products like lotions or take medicines only when needed. They're also informing agencies of needed engineering improvements as wastewater treatment plants aren't currently able to remove chemicals like this. And King County has created a committee to try and reduce PFAS in our environment. Now, there are currently several laws in Washington, either in place or being considered now, that ban chemicals like PFAS in products. So while Washington is a leader among other states, the work here continues. I'm Maddie White. Madison, back to you.